Hi everyone! Today we're going to be working on this darling little O oh, Ginger Snaps. He's from Cadoodle Bug Designs. He is an SVG file and I did cut him out in all textured cardstock. So let's go ahead and get started. And I did prep all my pieces except for two because I'm going to show you on the body and the head what colors I use. So we're going to start with for him, we're going to use the vintage photo. So let's go ahead and get started. And so on this one, I ended up just holding them down and then just kind of doing a motion up and down, like almost like you're doing a circular. Now, the harder you push, the more darker it will be. So if you want like super dark, you ink it up and then press darker. So, or press harder, <laughs> not press darker. So we've got that one. Let's get this one. We're gonna come in next with the tea dye. And that one is one of my favorite ones to use on all the gingers. It just, the color is really nice. Now, if you can find something in your stash that works for you, that's like absolutely the way to go is to just pull what you have um, in your stash. So we've got that one done. So the next one is the tea dye. And we're just going to come in lightly on this one. And I am hardly press, pressing. And so we're just going to do that. So that's going to be his little face. And then we're just, I'm going to do a little circular on the outer parts. Just to try to blend those. Oops. Now you could always come in with some chalk. Okay, so we've got those two done. I'm gonna move him up there. So the next thing I wanna do is I'm using a pen to outline E59. It's a Copic marker. Again, pull whatever you have in your stash. This is almost like a, just a dark, dark brown. And we're just kinda of coming on the outer part. Now you can come up on top and that's okay and you could always blend again if you want if it you know if it's looking to where it needs to be blended i will just take that dark vintage photo and i'll come back around the edge with a lot on the that ink um, dauber so that's what i'm using is the dauber so if again, like if you want that to blend really well, go ahead and ink up your dauber and just kind of gent, not gently, but you know what I mean. Just come around and kind of blend that. Okay, I'm not gonna do the body, I'm gonna leave that. Now I also did pull one of my red daubers and I did not pull any ink and the reason being is for his little cheeks I want a little red right here just right there because this is going to be part of his cheeks so we want to start with the red okay so we've got a little red on both sides and then I also brought in a little red down here and we could always blend that with a little chalk if we need to so if you've if you've added a little much you could go ahead and always come back over with the tea dye or or your chalk okay so we have those ready now we want to grab our chalk and I do use a little red along with some of the pink and so I just put a little bit on there and then I'm grabbing this really bright pink. And this is going to be for the cheeks. Again. So now if I cover up that red, I can always, let me blow this. I can always come in 
with the red again on the dauber. Um, you could always take some red chalk. You know, it's it all works together. Okay, and I'll just blow that brush off. This brush is, that's the name. I probably can't pronounce that. But anyways, I got a pack of 10 on Amazon uh, for either $8.99 or 10 So we're just going to add a little bit lighter pink and just blend that. Okay. And I think that's good until we get it on him. And... So now we can go ahead and put him together. So I'm going to start with the arms and his little legs. So I am using the art glitter glue and I'm using a Viker tool. I sh will put a link. I try to link it in all my videos for you just to make it easier. You get two and you get four of the little wax edges and a tweezers and it's I think like $8.99. Again, I am not affiliated with them whatsoever. I've just had so many people asking me about this tool that now in all my videos, I will just tell everybody the same thing and link it in the description. So you will have to open that description box up right underneath the video and it will uh, it will definitely show you. Let's see, I think I moved his legs on the opposite side, yep. Okay, so we always have to put the legs and the arms first on our little gingers here, on this one anyways. Uh, the legs like so let's see usually I move that over let's see if I can get that okay probably should there we go and then we'll just put some glue on this I like this glue if you add enough of this glue and not too too much it moves super easy and I love the little tip on it. Now, you could use any glue that you have. They all work. Whichever you find best. Okay. So I think that's going to probably be good. And then we're going to... So his arms are on, right? <laughs> so now I'm going to go ahead and add his body. He comes together pretty quickly. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you today how to get the cute icing, how it's so puffy. And on the little tree, we're going to show you how to get the tree to look like it's uh, like a, cook a metal cookie cutter. Sorry, I couldn't think. Okay, so his little head goes like so. So we got that. So now you can kind of see his little cheeks a little better. I'm going to grab some red and that pink. And if we want them darker, and then I always do the blowing. And then I'm going to come in with a little bit of light. This side. Okay. All right, so that looks good to me. It should have a lip. I feel like it's missing like up here. There we go, maybe that's better. <sighs> okay, so now we can't add, we have to add his feet first and then we can add the icings. So we're gonna get the one but hopefully you can see that. Now, if you have a little extra glue, you could take this tool. Oops, let me grab this foot and get it on there. Okay. So I take the tool usually and just grab the glue and pull it off of there. There. It's like super easy. And Okay, so see how that still moves. 
So it just works really nice. Okay, we want to add the icing to the top. And I'm going to show you these pins. I love the Viva Pearl pins for adding a little dimension. Oops, that may have just messed that up a little. I let that fall too low, you guys. Ah. Let's see if we can grab that glue. I like to keep a rag down here um, just for that. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so we have that on. Let's go ahead. I'm going to clean up any of that. Alrighty, so for, we have to add that tree. And we could, let's add these first. So we want to add our little icings. And then we can add the, I think I want this one there. And this one needs to be that way. And hopefully you're not seeing that, right? Whoops. Hopefully you are, I mean. Okay. Cute. It just comes together so cute. Okay. So we got that on. We don't have to worry. I did get some ink on that white, but that's not going to matter much. And I should have had two of these guys. Oh boy, I'm pulling everything from this other. I have one more left of these to do. So, okay. So his tree would go on next, but I'm going to do his face so we can get that face done. So let's get his eyes set. So we're going to put the eyes. We want one dot there and one there and his nose is there. And you can see that. So that's good. So I love grabbing with this little tool. Just put one eye and then we'll get that. And his nose. So his nose I did the same way. And I did come in with a tad bit of the red at the very top part of this nose. You could come in with some pink if you want. Let's see, where's the brush? So you could always bring a little pink up there. But just make sure you blow that off. Okay. So... His little eyes are pretty much, whoops, set. We just want those to dry a little bit because we're going to come in and add our liner. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add this tree. The tree should be pretty dry. I tried to prep this. And then I'm going to show you. Oh, it's still wet. I could tell because it would not bend like this. I'm not ruining it. Okay, yeah, because that's definitely. Let's see if. Oh, there's those. Uh, oh, shoot. Yeah, that's definitely not dry. Ah. That's the only thing about prepping some of the things. And see me pushing it down is, is definitely. Yeah, so you definitely want that to dry fully. Typically, I'll let it, I'll leave it for like a while. But anyways, we've got it on there. Oh, now we could do his little hands. That way, I'm just trying to let give time for. I'm just trying to give time for his little eyes so we can come back in okay so there's one and there's two okay <laughs> all righty so we're going to add our eye 
missing. And we just want it right there. So you can do that. And I should have cleaned my hands. Usually I spray them with some rubbing alcohol. But I did not. I don't think, because I still have stuff on my hands, I could tell. Okay. Alrighty. So now we're going to do the little eyelashes. So I did, I did purchase um, a set of six of these off of Amazon. You can find the Micron pins. They're a set. You get like a 005, a 05, a 03. I can't remember if there's a 08. But anyways, these work perfect for doing the eyes and again the price is better than what i've paid when i go to michael's or joann's uh, so it, it's definitely nice to have them so i'm just adding a little liner now we're gonna do some small little strokes and let's hope i can show small and you can come back in if you need okay oops I may have added a little much on him and then I'm going to use one of the brushes again I bought a pack of 10 of these on Amazon I'm going to use a little black on the tip and I'm going to shadow just get and my eyes aren't really good right now because I feel like he's I kind of messed him up maybe no nope, maybe not it's better if I do videos in the morning I'm definitely oh well okay so he's got some long lashes that's okay um, these are the Posca pins. I bought a two pack on eBay of these. And I honestly cannot remember what I paid for them. I'm going to start adding the dots before we get to the next part. We want three dots here and three there. And we want a little line there and one here and one there. And we'll do a little bit there. Come up here and down there. And whoop. And we got another there. And I'm thinking that looks pretty good. Okay, let's add his two little buttons. They look like little candies. So on this part here, I do cut the paper out and I'm using over the paper the dew drops. Um, I love using the dew drops on these. I'm using a green Robin's Nest dew drop and I'm going to use the red. And so we'll just add a little more glue. Now the eyes, I would suggest definitely letting those completely dry before you do your lashes because I could tell once these micron pins hit the glue, they, it ends up kind of ruining them. So, and I could tell it was making it a little hard for that one to work. So, I would definitely suggest letting it all dry. Since I'm doing a video, I ended up just doing it anyways, even though I know better. Okay, so I'm adding a little glue to add his cute little mouth. And his mouth, the bigger, the little fatter part goes to the bottom. He's so cute. I just love how these come together. Then you just add a little dot for his tongue. I just set that. And that's it. So now if you feel like you want red or pink anywhere else, you could go ahead and add it. We're going to go ahead and use the Viva Pearl pin and we'll set him aside. I won't be able to touch him for a while. We want to let it dry, but I just take the Viva Pearl pin and get it. And hopefully you could see you want a nice thick 
bead of this to come out. And that way it covers all that. And it's just so, I mean, I could already see the difference. I just love this stuff. I think it just adds such a nice dimension. It looks like a real cookie. <laughs> I know I showed my mom the silver for the tree. And she goes, what did you use to make it look like metal? And I told her, I go, it was those pearl pins that I've had. I've had these forever. Okay. I want to say since probably like 2009 or 10 or something. So I have to set him aside. We can't touch him. And I feel like I just lost a tree. Did I do the tree? No, I did not. Uh-oh. Oh, maybe I didn't grab the tree. <laughs> Oh, I didn't because it goes with the other one. Okay, and I'm going to just show you really quick and then we'll be done. So the tree, you can go ahead and start on one side. So I'll start like down here and hopefully you can see that. Now this one I have to be a little more careful, but it's super, super easy. We're still doing the same thing, just keeping a constant flow for the beat for that so now if you need to come in and hold with this you can with a little pokey tool and hopefully you could see in my hands not covering and this one you definitely i i would say do these and let them set aside for the day I did that one and didn't let it set aside. And you can definitely to see where I was pressing it down. Even though it should like bow up, it should like get all weird looking. And then you can, you know, move it around and you won't push down that. Uh, you won't push it down. But it, I just think it looks super cute. So this is the one I used on my tag. Again, he's the O Ginger Snaps from Kadoodlebug Designs. And I hope you enjoyed my video today. And if you did, please definitely give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos, please do follow. And thanks for stopping by and you have a good day.